a folklore cabin, and, but I didn't, and that's the lesson. Well, my life flashed before my eyes. Yeah, no, I, I'm good. It's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Just, I'm just so happy that I didn't fall off the folklore cabin. You know what I mean? I'm just. What a great night in Tokyo. Right as, right as I was taking my harness off too. It was really just... Anyway, um, so Folklore <laughs> is an album I'm very proud of. It's an album I made in the pandemic. And uh, it really was like, it was kind of the first time I really toyed around with creating fictional characters. And uh, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but I tend to, um, write very auto autobiographical music about about my, my own feelings. And, and this was a time where I thought, maybe I'll just switch it up and, and do something different. So I started trying to invent sort of characters who could fall in love and, and have feelings and, and break up. And um, one of my favorite character arcs on folklore is these, these three teenagers. And I, I call this the, um, the, the teenage love triangle. Have you, have you heard of this? So, uh, basically we have this, uh, this teenage boy named James and he really, really epically screws things up with the love of his life and he has to try to win her back um, by showing up at her party and, and saying he's, he's sorry for everything and, uh, well, long story short, her name is Betty.